I feel inspired. The moons of Microtech were named after Muses, the inspirational goddesses of literature, science, and the arts. In today's episode, we are going to tour the moons and artificial satellites of Microtech and talk about their locations of interest, history, and lore. And that episode starts right now. Welcome back, citizens, and welcome to the tour of the moons and satellites of Microtech. I want to thank all of our patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for your support. Also, we can see that many of our viewers are not yet subscribed. So if you enjoy our content, please consider hitting that subscribe button to help the channel grow. In ancient Greek mythology, the Muses are the inspirational goddesses of literature, science, and the arts. Microtech named their moons after three of the Greek muses, Calliope, Cleo, and Euterpe. The people of Microtech used the moons as reminders of the core values of the company and the experiences they strive to create. Microtech has four artificial satellites, one around the planet of Microtech and one around each of the moons. Remember, these commsats are government property and you can get in trouble for being too close. Lastly, there is a space station, owned by Rest and Relax, named Port Tressler. Let's head there first. Port Tressler is a space station in Microtech's orbit, geostationary to New Babbage. This station features a cargo deck and has two docking ports, eight hangars, and 12 landing pads. Located in the trade lane above Microtech, Port Tressler is the main transfer hub for New Babbage. Millions of SEU pass through this station every day between exports from Microtech and the other companies on the surface and the resources and trade coming from the other systems. The hangars and hatch level consists of ASOP terminals where you can retrieve your ship from one of 12 landing pads or 8 hangars of various sizes, a hot dog stand that offers the legendary Double Dog as well as other tasty dog dishes. An observation deck with a spectacular view of Microtech, a small upstairs lounge, elevators to the other levels of the station, and five floors of the easy hatch where you can rent a small room. Port Tressler hosts two docking ports to board and depart capital ships. Docking ports are extendable sky bridges used to create a non-permanent connection to a space station and serve as the main ingress point for crew and guests. The cargo deck level consists of a large cargo bay, Traveler Rentals, a ship rental company offering Adventure Titans, Cutlass Blacks, or Freelancers, and a store hall where you can purchase various pieces of clothing, Novikov armor and helmet, and attachments to the multi-tool. The Galleria is spread out in two different areas, the shopping area and the food court. Both have two levels. You enter the upper level of the shopping area first. This floor of the shopping area offers an arcade, the Port Tressler Armor Shop for various pieces of armor, and Platinum Bay, a franchise for ship components in most space stations. They offer many different types of quantum drives, coolers, power plants, and shield generators. The admin office is on the lower floor and is where you can find trade terminals as well as kiosks to pay fines and access the Kovalex delivery system. This floor also hosts the Port Tressler Bar, where you can entertain your friends after that long flight, and Cassaba Clothing Shop franchise that sells designer fashions at affordable prices. The first floor of the food court offers Elroy's, the rest stop's premier coffee shop, which is not quite open for business yet. A hot dog stand, similar to the one on the hangers and Habs level. A Noodle House Noodle Bar. A Big Benny's Noodle House Noodle Bar, the most recent addition to the Terra Mills family. The second floor offers a burrito bar with a nice selection of burritos and beverages. A pizza place that is not quite open for business yet. And a coffee stand that is not quite selling to the public yet. Now, let's check out the closest moon to Microtech. Calliope. 
Welcome to Calliope, named after the ancient Greek muse who inspired eloquence to remind those gazing upon the moon from Microdeck to strive for pure expression of thought. Beset by high winds and low temperatures, Calliope becomes so cold at night that even exceptionally insulated weather suits can fail. The dark side of the moon is a dangerous one, even to the most experienced adventurer. Low clouds and ground fog regularly reduce surface visibility to a minimum. Calliope is not habitable. It has an average surface temperature ranging from negative 120 degrees Celsius to negative 130 degrees Celsius. Calliope's atmosphere primarily consists of molecular oxygen. The environment is just too cold to survive without an environmental suit, such as the Novikov armor. Locations here include two mining outposts. Shubin Mining Facility SMCA6 and Shubin Mining Facility SMCA8. Six Shubin Processing Facilities SPMC 1, 3, 5, 10, 11, and 14. Watch out though, because these are off limits and highly guarded. And Rayari Research Outpost ANVIC and Caltag, both of which have landing pads to refuel, repair, and rearm. The Raven's Roost is also located here. It is here you can deal with illicit goods, and for those who trespass, will be seen nevermore. Our next stop is Cleo. Named after the ancient Greek muse of history, to remind those gazing upon the moon from Microtech to remember that their work stands on those who came before them. Cleo's defining feature is a series of liquid oceans covering much of its surface. Snowy mountains, reminiscent of the famous Microtech slopes, cover the other half of the surface with unique and distinctly shaped icebergs meshing the difference. Regions with mountains and valleys that slide abruptly into the ocean at the coast and wide fields of white snow make the moon a picturesque destination. The hazy pink and green sky and jade oceans give this moon an alien feel, unmatched by anything else in the Stanton system. Cleo is not habitable. It has an average surface temperature range from negative 50 degrees Celsius to negative 60 degrees Celsius. Cleo's atmosphere primarily contains nitrogen and molecular oxygen. The environment is just too cool to survive without an environmental suit such as Novikov armor. Locations here include Riari Research Outpost Cantwell, and Rayari Research Outpost McGrath. Off to our last stop, Yaterpi. Welcome to Yaterpi, named after the ancient Greek muse of music to remind those gazing upon the moon from Microtech to be guided by the natural rhythm of the universe in their designs. Yaterpi is the smallest of Microtech's three moons and features vast frozen oceans and exposed ice sheets. From time to time, tips of land jut out of the ice to create a harsh and intimidating plain. Rather than large bodies of land, clusters of islands can be found around the surface, sometimes numbering in the thousands. The islands themselves are just as harsh as the plains of ice that surround them, with sharp, chimney-like rock formations dotted across the plains the hint of a volcanic past. Euterpe is not habitable. It has an average surface temperature ranging from negative 80 degrees Celsius to negative 125 degrees Celsius. Euterpe's atmosphere primarily contains nitrogen and molecular oxygen. The environment is just too cold to survive without an environmental suit such as Novikov armor. Locations here include Bud's Growery an independently owned agricultural outpost, described as a little out of the way, but Bud's always is a good trip. And Delvin, Scrap and Salvage, a salvage yard on the surface of Euterpe. Their small operation has years of experience handling scrap and salvage. 
Whether you're an independent trader or just clearing out your hangar, they're always happy to serve you. Well, those are the moons and artificial satellites of Microtech. In our next episodes, we will check out other features of the Stanton system. A special thank you to all of our patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for your support. If you enjoy our content, please remember to hit that subscribe button to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching, see you in the verse, and happy mining!